Joost, talk us through that two under round of, of 70 today. Uh, I think a decent score. I made a couple of mistakes on the greens. I mean, I uh, made two three putts on the front nine and then basically made a three putt on the last from just uh, the edge of the green. So those shots, you know, I gave it a bit away easy. But a lot of good things in there as well and uh, quite some birdies. So hopefully we can keep that up in the weekend. As far as three putts goes, you're in good company. There was a fair few of them out today. Yeah. Was that mainly because of the greens or the pin placement? Ah, both. I mean, the greens are... are very underlated and some of the pin, pin positions if you're out of position you know you're going to struggle to get it close and um, especially on a couple I, I felt like I shouldn't be out of position but it happens quickly here and you got to pay attention all the time and uh, that's this golf course I think you got to position it well on the greens. Confidence must be high at the moment top five in Thailand you've made nine of your last ten cuts. Yeah I know I'm playing decent so you know it was good to, to, to finish third last week and get some points on the board and get some confidence going so hopefully we can keep that going this weekend and uh, hopefully you can be there on Sunday for, uh, for, for, for a real good week. How does DLF suit your eye? It's, it's quite a different challenge to what we see on the tour. Yeah, I, I like it. I mean, it's nothing like it. It's it's a very demanding golf course off the tee and also into the greens and on the greens, you know, so there's every area of the game is getting tested, which I like, you know, it's not a bombers course. you got to hit it straight, um, you know, and it, that's normally courses that suit my uh, suit my game. And uh, yeah, it's, it's I, I like this golf course. Some guys get frustrated with it, but I, I love it. I hear guys always say they stay in their own lane and don't focus on the leaderboard and I'm sure until sometime on a Sunday afternoon that might change. At what point do you worry about someone like Yannick Paul who seems to be streaks ahead at the moment? Yeah, I mean at the moment, you know, like you say, it's 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 two more rounds to go so let's see what happens tomorrow and then on Sunday I like to watch the leaderboard and know what you need to do or if you got to, you know, make some birdies or not. But um, it's, it's one of these golf courses where you can drop shots easy and you can also make up uh, shots easy. So you've got to stay patient and uh, play your own game, I guess. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks, Cheers. Cheers. Joost, very solid 70 today, especially given where you're standing on the leaderboard. How happy are you with your progress? Yeah, op zich goed. Ik baal een beetje vandaag van de twee paar drie putten die ik heb gemaakt. Op de greens was het vandaag niet super. Maar het is een, is een moeilijke baan, zeker op de greens als je uit positie bent en dan maak je drie putts. En ik maak er vandaag twee, misschien drie op, op de laatste als je die van de, net buiten de green meetelt. En dat is te veel, dat moet morgen in het weekend moet dat beter. This course seems to demand the most utmost of patience, you know, even on a good day. How does it suit your eye and how, how do you manage that temperament at times? Ja, het is, het is een gek baantje, vooral de greens zijn heel geonderleerd. Um, Maar ik, ik hou ervan. Het is, het is moeilijk vanaf de tee en het is moeilijk naar de greens en het is moeilijk op de greens. Dus alles moet je goed doen, alles wordt getest en ik denk dat dat juist heel eerlijk is. Dus geen bommerscores. Um, en normaal gesproken zijn dat banen waar ik goed uit voet kan. Thanks for your time. Cheers. 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 Cheers.